Alright guys, welcome back to a new video and today I want to show you guys how you can add some effects into your Roblox GFX. Now, today I'm not going to be using Photoshop, I'm going to be using Photopea because I know some of you guys don't have it. So, I'm going to be using Photopea, which is completely free. You just go to photopea.com right here. So, this is more of a general kind of video. I'm going to show you guys a couple of effects, um, styles, lighting tips that you can do to make your artwork just look a lot better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to explain as best as possible. Alright, so we're going to start by pressing on new projects right here. Um, the DPI is 100, so change that. And the width is 1920, and the height is going to be 1080. As you can see, and we're just going to hit create to make our uh, projects and I'm gonna go up to edit and paste I'm just going to paste somebody else's artwork because I've not made any new thumbnails of my own so this is by i5k right here so in Photopea if we go here this is our layers panel which is very important because as you can see this controls all the layers in our in our scene here before we go any further we will need a graphics pack we could go onto youtube and look up free graphics pack and you can see there is a ton choose um balance 300 plus layer asset pack there is a ton here and you can also go to our store scroll down to the graphics pack section and i would recommend the i5k pack okay so i'm going to use the i5k pack right here um the black screen is automatically on to this, uh, so you can see the effects clearly, right? So, um, right here, let's check this out. So if we go into cartoon effects, here is electric, and you can see there are lots of very nice effects we could use. We have some fire. Just some more stuff here, um, basic cartoon effects here. That's a cool one, uh, stock effects. This is uh, pretty cool. We have smokes, which we will also be using. We have particles, we have lights, textures, and grunge. So let's go back into our project. Now, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to separate the characters from the background. How we are going to achieve that is we're going to go up here, we'll just click and hold, and go for the quick selection tool, right? And we're just going to zoom in. This character, I'm just going to select. And if the selection expands to where you don't want it, you want to hold Alt and just click and it will deselect those, those certain areas. I'm just going to click back. This will take a bit of time, so just be patient with it. Okay, I think this is fine. Um, Alright, now we're just going to hit Ctrl J on the keyboard. This will copy and separate the character from the background. And yeah. This is what we have so far. I'm going to do this one. Alright, so now I have both these characters separate from the background. We can begin adding some effects. So, choose any one. I'm going to right click and hit blending options right here. And let's go for inner shadow. Alright, this one. Uh, change the color to white. This will give us a nice highlight. Normal. And as you can see, change change the angle here um, size and spread I'm gonna go for something like this and change the mode to overlay as you can see it gives a nice little highlight here like so we go for bevel and emboss as well increase the size and soften the values right here also change the mode overlay here. And the best part is for this one, this character, we just have to right click and hit layer style, go to copy, go to this one, right click, layer style and paste, and the effects will automatically apply to the other character, as you can see. Alright, I think this looks pretty good. Now, let's get on with actually adding some effects. So, we're gonna go to, so we're gonna go for, let's see what we can find. I wanna use this one. So drag, go up here and drop it, and you can see this looks very nice. Um, let's hit Alt, let's hit Control Alt and T on our keyboard to bring up the free transform panel. 
I'm gonna use this to scale this effect and also uh, rotate. I'm going to place this right on the sword. This right here. Boom. And you can copy Control J. Let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur to apply this nice blue. Um, you can change the mode. No, that's not very good. All right. So we have this. I'm gonna deselect this. Okay. So we can make a new layer. Take our brush tool. This tool. I'm gonna increase the size and go for my color and go for a nice blue. And oops. I'm gonna turn down the hardness. Just that. Okay. Now we can paint on the sword right here. Change the mode to overlay. And this will give us some environmental lighting for our scene, which is a very good thing. Also this. Boom, as you can see. And obviously we could also copy and paste these effects. And we could also rotate it back to the graphics pack. We have some particles we could add as well. Um, the one that I like to add personally the most is going to be, where is it? This one right here. I'm going to drop this and you can see this effect, uh, this little dust particle looks very nice. I'm just going to paste this around. Just like so. Alright, you have some anime effects here you could add for like an anime kind of artwork. This seems pretty cool. So I'm going to place this here. If you guys want to change the color of one of these effects, all you're going to do is just hit Ctrl U on your keyboard. Adjust this hue slider. And you can see this color will change. And now we have a blue effect right here. I'm going to copy and paste and turn this one into red. So you can use for this character. And I'm going to rotate this around. Right here for smokes, I like this effect. It has some fog texture kind of thing. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to use my eraser. I'm going to adjust some settings right here. And we could erase some parts. And yeah, that is basically how you add effects into your Roblox GFX. It is quite easy. Um, we use we use Photopea here. It is free. Obviously in Photoshop, this would have been much quicker. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you in any kind of way, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.